On today's adventure, we're traveling from the northeastern tip of Australia all the way to Bali, Indonesia, our home for the next month. Bali is known for its beautiful waterfalls, rice terraces, and bamboo tree houses. But first, we have to get there. We didn't realize that you actually had to have tickets out of Bali before you're allowed into Bali. Oh my God, we got the wrong flight. And once we do, there's lots to learn about our new home. Our goal, settle into our new home in Bali, Indonesia. Our first day in Bali actually starts here in Northern Australia, where we ended our last adventure scuba diving on the beautiful Great Barrier Reef. But it was time to leave Australia for good, and while leaving our Airbnb, we had no idea the nightmare travel day that was about to happen. We are at the airport in Cairns, and we didn't realize that you actually had to have tickets out of Bali before you're allowed into Bali. So we're standing here with all these people, these people are trying to get their weight right, and we literally can't even get to the weight part yet. At this point, we were forced out of the line and had to buy one-way flights out of Bali exactly one month after our arrival. This was also a mistake, but we'll get to that later. We officially have our boarding passes, which is honestly such a huge step, which so, we didn't even realize. Yeah, because that took so long, and like, our bags were so close to being overweight. Blake's was definitely oh, mine were overweight, overweight yeah. and they were yeah. charging $25 per kilo, like above. Like, <laughs> these people next to us, char they charged them $360 for their overweight bag. So, huge relief. Now we officially are going to... They don't know that yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blurt that out. <laughs> we're heading to Bali now. Or so we thought. Oh my God, we got the wrong flight. <laughs> Our flight takes off in 32 days and you need 30 days for the visa. So we're getting a new one now. Bali's visa requirements are not for a stay of one month, but maximum 30 days in the country. And our math at the check-in counter wasn't exactly correct. Luckily, it was a simple change and we were one step closer to our biggest goal. Now, this wasn't our first one-way ticket, but it still seems surreal we were actually getting on the plane. No. This is crazy. Guys, we just got on this flight without paying any extra excess baggage fees. And our bags, our bags were literally overweight. And like our carry-on, they didn't even weigh that. So, huge win. We're so lucky. Good start to the trip. We thought arriving this late would mean less lines, but that wasn't exactly the case. To get a 30-day visa on arrival, it's pretty simple. You need a passport valid for the next six months at the time of arrival, confirm ticket out of Bali before the visa expires. This is why we were held up in Australia, and they didn't actually ask for it here in Indonesia, which was super weird. $35 cash for the cost of the visa, and as of June 2023, no more COVID or health-specific requirements. And of course, your willingness to wait in line. But after all that, we got our VOAs. From New York. Yeah, we got them. We got them. I think there was no one at baggage claim because of the lines for the VOAs, but we still had to fill out a customs declaration before officially leaving the secure area of the airport. You could do this online, but of course the Wi-Fi isn't reliable at Denpasar Airport. Our next goal was to find a ride from the airport in Denpasar to Chenggu, where we'd be staying for a whole month in our new home. However, it wasn't going to be that simple. Our Airbnb host had arranged a driver for us, but one, we had no cash. Okay, well, we still had to find a way to contact him because of the Wi-Fi situation. Okay, so this part was actually less challenging than we thought, but it took forever. It is 2 a.m. I want to go to bed. We were immediately greeted with a big smile and a helping hand for our heavy luggage. Most 
mostly our first few days have been settling into this beautiful villa behind me, but we'll show you a tour of that later in this video. Right now, it's time to try out something that everybody here does that I've never done before that Ellie definitely has, and you might have heard one go by. Chenggu is known for one thing that is very hectic. Scooters. But there's one thing you should know. Scooters in Bali have quite the reputation. With thousands of scooters on the road every day, there is really little in terms of rules for safe driving, and we figured this out pretty quickly. It's one of the most dangerous places to ride a scooter and very common for visitors to get into accidents. For us, riding scooters here is truly our biggest challenge yet. Tell me your experience driving scooters. Well, I've driven them in the suburbs of Florida, so. This is basically the suburbs of Florida. Basically. It's hot, it's got mosquitoes, a lot of trash, some dogs just kind yeah, of running around. Yeah, but I think it's calmer in Florida. It was like peaceful, like vacation vibes. With our limited scooter experience, we opted for the small and simple Honda Scoopy. Scoopylicious. Stylish. With a 109.5 cc engine, aka 0.1 liter petrol engine, the Scoopy is capable of putting out a whopping 9 horsepower. <laughs> you look good. Step one, turn it on. Ignition. So Blake was pretty hesitant to get a scooter, but I was like, there's no way that we can live in Bali for a month and not have a scooter. But he doesn't know that I'm actually so terrified of this. Like I'm, I'm so scared that we're just gonna crash or something, but knock on some wood, this is wood. We're gonna be okay. And we're just gonna keep practicing until we get it right. Here he comes, Woo! <laughs> He's a pro already. We also see a lot of tourists without helmets, and while we do look pretty dumb with these toad heads, I think that it's definitely a safe bet to wear them all the time. Like, I do not care how stupid I look. Also, it's well known that police favor pulling over tourists that aren't wearing helmets. Be safe out there. for me to get on the back. What? That's the next challenge. <laughs> or so we thought. How come we're not wearing white? Not part of it, unfortunately. You they didn't, didn't get the memo. They didn't invite me. <laughs> that was cool, though. That happens in Bali, I guess. <laughs> so funny because you're about to ride your scooter, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's a parade. Just give it a sec. <laughs> Just give it a sec. Right? It's so funny. But now it's time to ride. Right. <laughs> Drive on the left. Stay on the left. First ride, how'd I do? Pretty good. Honestly, he I thought he was gonna be worse because he was like so worried. Such but a like doubter. I feel so confident with you like driving. Like I don't wanna drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we're doing good. Welcome to Villa Yofen here in Changu, Bali, and it's going to be our home for our month here in this beautiful island. We're actually on the main strip in Chenggu, so super close to the beach, but we are on a like a little quiet street, so it's perfect location. And right out here is actually where we poke our where, where we poke where we park our motorcycle. Um, and then the entrance is right in here. Let's go check it out. We've got a super cute little courtyard here and you can actually put your surfboards if you're going surfing. And then we have a beautiful shared living room. This space is actually shared by four units, including ours, but there's barely anyone here. So basically to ourselves. And right next to our living space here that Ellie's in 
is our little kitchen table here, which was really important for us to have after we were living in Australia out of a van and a car. We had no place to work, no place to eat really most of the time, so having an actual wooden table where you can sit, eat, and do work comfortably was really important for us. Also, what was important for us, or so we thought, was a kitchen. We wanted a kitchen where we can cook meals and just like, you know, live that normal life again but we haven't even used it once. <laughs> and that's because in Bali, it's super cheap to just order food. A Gojek or Grab, which is the, the people that bring your food, costs very little just for the delivery. So we've been doing a lot of that. And of course, no Bali villa would be complete without a beautiful pool right here behind us. Yeah, we felt it was super important, just for the vibe itself, to have a pool, but we have not gotten in it once. <laughs> yep, so we paid for a kitchen and we paid for a pool that we never used. Yeah. However, we've used these chairs right behind me several times. Yeah, it's a nice place to relax, even if you're not in the pool, and it's got a beautiful uh, view from your room. So here's our beautiful pool, and right here is our beautiful room. Our room is actually so spacious and might be my favorite part of this whole villa. One of the most important things we needed was a workspace. So we have our own desk there and we've got a pretty massive closet because we have way too many clothes. You know, we've been living out of this bag for so long in Australia. Literally just having this was, it was the most amazing thing. And our bathroom is pretty big and pretty nice. So I've been really happy with it so far. This is where the business is done. It's disgusting. <laughs> what do you think about the flooring? A lot of Bali showers have like rock floors and this is one of the best ones, but it literally hurts. It's almost like if you're stepping on like soft Legos. Soft Legos? <laughs> it hurts. It's like painful as you shower. Soft Legos. That's <laughs> This whole villa cost us $1,000 this month, and while that doesn't seem like much compared to a lot of apartments in the US, in Bali that is one of the most expensive places. So definitely next time we would stay in somewhere maybe a little smaller and a little bit cheaper, just to, you know, save, save, save a little bit. <laughs> totally. But it is going to be the perfect bed for us to come back to after all of our adventures around Bali and Indonesia. And first up is actually us going to the Gili Island. So if you want to watch that video, it'll show up right here. If you enjoy this video and can't wait for all of our Bali adventures, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to help us out. It means so much to us that you guys watch these videos. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time, time on today's, today's adventure. adventure. Bye.